This is just a, a, an example of a really um, quiet um, practice solution if noise is a problem um, for practicing. Um, this is the, the quietest I've I've sort of managed to get it and I'm basically using some little monster drumsticks here uh, from Beta, um, some of the Zildjian L80 practice cymbals, uh, just a Remo practice pad, um, a Gibraltar practice bass drum um, with one of these sort of tennis ball beaters on and I, I've got this down to it's basically about 64 decibels which is slightly above normal conversation and less than uh, a vacuum cleaner than a Hoover. Um, so it, it, you know, it kind of sounds, if I'm talking, you can still hear talking over, over it fine. You can do doubles with them. And it's, bear in mind that I'm, my voice is louder than, than this really. Obviously, if you absolutely whack the bass drum, it's going to, you know, uh, might cause vibration. And some some people uh, have built like wood panels on tennis balls to kind of minimise the vibration through the floor. So that might that might help. But yeah, this is the, the quietest. I've got it. And it still kind of sounds, you can get a groove out of it. So, uh, and this cost, yeah, cost is an important point. Um, cost in the UK is about 400 quid, and including the stall, you can get all of this. Maybe not the same, exactly the same stands, but you can get a full set of stands and a seat, uh, and all the symbols and everything that's here for about 400 quid or $500. $500. And I'm sure if you go on eBay or Reverb, you can probably get the stands, which is the most expensive part, um, probably a bit cheaper if you have any stands or anything kicking around. It can be done really quickly, uh, cheaply. So, um, yeah, hope that's hope that's useful.